Hey guys, Eric Kersing here from Spectrasonics and just wanted to say thanks so much for the feedback that you guys gave us on some of the MKS-20 stuff in our new instrument Keyscape. Uh, we got some feedback from John, Mike, and the Gospel uh, community and really interesting stuff about the MKS-20. And so we wanted to do a little shootout here today and show it with the MKS-20 and some things that we discovered along the way. It's pretty cool. So let's pull up um, Keyscape, and um, the first thing to know is that I set up uh, I set up the MKS-20, I'm a huge fan of it, and I set it up uh, really for more like pop kind of stuff, like for ballads and that kind of stuff, for this kind of sound. So that's that's like kind of my MKS-20 sound that I would always use on records in the 80s and that kind of stuff. So um, that's kind of where I was coming from. But it was really interesting when we pulled up, uh, we, got, we got the actual MKS-20 in today. And so we, we pulled that up. And so we're going to do some A-B comparisons. So I'm going to switch over to that. And now I'm playing the actual MKS-20. That's the sort of flat, uh, the flat setting, and it's pretty warm. And here's the setting, the the pop setting we had in Keyscape. So there's a pretty big difference between the way an MKS-20 can be set up. So uh, we had, uh, we thought we'd do a little shootout, so you can. Here that if you play like gospel kind of stuff, which is oftentimes a lot harder, more aggressive kind of playing, uh, those upper harmonics in the sounds are going to sound pretty different. So let's check out the MKS-20 with, this is a MIDI file that uh, gospelmultitracks.com sent, John, John Mike sent me. And um, let's check it out. So here's the MKS-20. So you can hear that there is actually a pretty big difference between that sound, which I set up more for pop, uh, and the sort of flat MKS-20, turn it on, select, you know, E piano one, turn the chorus on, pretty different sound. But the cool thing is, is this gave us an opportunity to, um, to show you guys that you can really change the sounds in Keyscape. You, you're not stuck with like uh, the way it's set up. So uh, we decided to uh, really go after that straight ahead sound, that, that kind of more, more gospel kind of tone. So uh, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to pull up this and we, we've got a new patch, a uh, new set of patches that we're working on and that we're going to release uh, next week that are gospel MKS-20 patches. And this is uh, really set up to match uh, the straight ahead MKS-20 tone. So I'm going to turn the chorus off and uh, then let's go over to the MKS-20 and I'm going to reach over here to the MKS-20, turn the chorus off there. So now check out uh, the AB comparison, same MIDI file. So pretty darn close, basically identical. So, and that's because everything in Keyscape is soft. So uh, things aren't baked into the samples. Uh, for example, uh, the chorus, uh, there's some products out there that sample the chorus uh, so, so it'd be accurate. But the problem with that idea is that then you're locked into that chorus setting. And it's, of course, always starting, the phase is always starting every time you hit the key. It sounds exactly the same, but it doesn't really sound like the real chorus. And then you don't have the flexibility that you need to go between different kinds of MKS-20 sounds. So uh, in Keyscape, I was able to um, perfectly match the straight ahead chorus tone uh, that's a little more uh, narrow because all of the chorus in 
in Keyscape is modeled on the MKS20 circuitry, actually circuit modeled. So you can have any of the chorus settings that you want. So uh, let's do a comparison with that. I'm going to turn the chorus back on in the MKS20. And then let's turn the chorus back on in Keyscape. And now let's AB them. That's pretty darn close now. So this was a great opportunity for us. This feedback was fantastic from you guys. And being able to see how you were reacting to the sounds in real time was pretty amazing. We've never had an experience like that, watching a live stream and you guys discussing it. So that was incredible feedback for our team. And so um, we're gonna make these patches available uh, next week for everybody who has Keyscape. And uh, this was great. So thank you guys very much and enjoy.